So all the figures in my images are of people that are just like us from all different walks of the world and all different places. And to me, that's really intriguing because there are a lot of different societies and different ways of life that um, we know nothing about, I know nothing about, and I like you know, that dialogue. So this project is called the Conceal Project. I started it in about 2008, and it's an ongoing body of work. And uh, right now it contains about 150 different figures, and I'm constantly looking for different figures that I can incorporate and put into the, the body of work. So it's a vast spectrum of people that are in some way concealing their identity. So they um, have a, a subtle, difference about. So uh, his work really intrigues me. And so I'm trying to create narratives that create a myth, but not one that's particular, specific. So you have an idea and aura of a narrative that's familiar, but not a didactic visual visualization of one. So um, I see a kind of thing that has been the majority of them have a mask on or something, a costume. Uh -huh. So, would you say the bride is just a typical bride? That is a costume? That's actually me. <laughs> <laughs> Were you wearing a costume? No, that was on my wedding day. <laughs> so, yeah, um, that's the only one that's me. But, yeah, so, I mean, to me, that you know, this vast spectrum of um, the real, the absurd, the caricature, the depressing, you know, there's a tension there that I try to to elicit or to, to try to create through my images. I think it's like, you know, the beauty of it. Um, that's one aspect. And then I really like the images that have uh, some element of, of the absurd or that are funny and you know that are humorous in some way. A distinct passion for brooches and distinctly brooches. Every now and then I segue into possibly a necklace earrings, but I keep constantly turning back to brooches. And a reason for that is when you wear a brooch, you have to put it on your body. It's frontal and it confronts whoever walks up to you. So it's not meant to be aggressive in any way, but it does make people pay attention to you. So they can be a little intimidating or it puts you in a whole different frame of, of mind. I mean, it's, a, it's an object that women wear to adorn themselves with. So you know, there's a whole concept and idea behind what exactly that is. Right? So that's just kind of it um, as far as why I choose to make brooches rather than uh, other objects. I always work in, I have five, six, seven, eight, these one at the same time. I don't start one and finish it. One starts another, starts another, starts another. I've always worked in a kind of serial type of imagery. And the materials that I use, I have multiple stuff. So I take that and transform so there's always a starting point in terms of the material. It's all silver, there's some gold that it is in. There's a set point on a white piece here on the bottom of this one. That's a, a little bumping wheel that's put on a Dremel, and that's for cleaning silver, right? But it's, and I, I couldn't have done that if I wanted to. I found it in my husband's drawer. He's also a kid, I'm sorry. A lot of It's from other places. Um, the yellow wheel down here, that's an actual small buffing wheel. I use those on a much larger scale on the jewelry, but you can get the little ones and put them on a Dremel. But I mean, that color is yellow with the red center. I mean, and that's an industrial product. You know? uh, my so, work, I guess um, I'll start by, I think that maybe the common thing that sort of threads all my work together is the idea of relationships. One is like my relationship to the world and looking at the world and thinking about um, how I am, like, what I think and what I feel in relationship to the world. My relationship with the people in my life, my, my family, um, my friends, people that make up the world, um, my world, um, and the architectural form, and how um, maybe I want the thing that sort of catches me to be able to be altered or changed, um, that it can grow with me and it's not as rigid, and that maybe I want my structure to be much more like a net. And so then I was sort of pairing them together and sort of creating the relationship between the two um, and, and sort of seeing what that sort of context 
sort of thinking about, and I want to push it more, but um, I think it would take me more time on working on the wall, but this is a stencil that I made of the same sort of net form that's in here. Uh, and I want this to feel like it's coming out of the wall, like it's its own form or entity. Um, definitely like a cat, like I think cavernous comes to my mind. Um, the, you know, very, I want it to feel body-like. Uh, the colors of flesh, um, I think I was familiar with asking about my color palette. Um, this is a color palette that I worked off of a bruise I got from playing soccer on my leg. And I went and I, I dissected all the different colors that happened on my leg and I put them down. And then those were the color palettes that I wanted to paint the net form with.